Awesome. Thank you, Dan. I really uh, appreciate that introduction uh, as well as being here. Uh, honored to be uh, hosted with a, a great uh, company and organization as, as Winvesting. Um, and I'm excited to learn too. I'm, I'm not familiar with, um, with a lot of the other names. So, you know, I think I'm definitely going to try and stick around as well and, uh, and listen in on some of the other presentations too. So thank you everyone for being here this morning. Uh, you know, I heard Dan when he was, uh, going through and where everybody's from and, you know, that's always super cool. I was, uh, uh, amazes me. So you can be anywhere in the world right now and, and you're choosing to be with us. So much appreciated. I am actually out of uh, Chicago, so I am born and raised uh, on the south side of Chicago, and uh, and uh, it's been been nice to be here because we are uh, sort of the derivatives and, and futures capital, I would argue, of the world, if you will, uh, since we we of course have CME Group here, which is you know the largest global de de derivatives exchange. But uh, it's a dreary, rainy day here in Chicago, so I'm glad to be indoors and and glad to be with all of you. But uh, with that, in terms of what I'd really like to cover today is, you know, as Dan mentioned, we are a, a very unique model in the space and we do offer an opportunity for you to profit and make money in the markets without having to risk your own capital, which is is really pretty rare. So I want to take this time today to, to go through and show you exactly what we look for, what we require, what we want to see in traders and, and how we go about, you know, that process and, and evaluating you. And uh, really, then I want to I want to show you how. So I've, I've had a lot of experience, as Dan mentioned, uh, not just in the industry, but uh, at Top Step Trader. And uh, I've seen many, many trading strategies. So I want to show you exactly what are the commonalities of successful traders that I've seen uh, over the course of my career and, and of course, my tenure here at uh at top step trader and then uh from that you know there's generally uh, a lot of questions which is always great and welcome so probably take about that last half hour about 10 o'clock uh 10 15 depending how quickly we can get through this presentation to, to open it up for questions at the end so feel free to shoot them in there while we're going but um again uh we're gonna wait till the end to to go through those so without further ado uh, as, uh, as Dan already mentioned, uh, you know, I, I have had a, a myriad of experience in, in the trading realm, uh, and, and throughout, uh, kind of a, a twisting and turning career. I was on the institutional side and then, you know, came over to, to be a little more retail. So as you mentioned, you know, I started a, at a, a futures broker on one of, under one of the top market strategists, really got my, my orientation to the industry there. And then was able to, to, to take what I learned and, and uh, become an analyst at a, a leading, and as I say here, hedge fund technology company. Uh, I say that because it's uh, we were an interesting model. So we did manage assets, so there was certainly a, a managed assets component arm to it. So it was a, a true hedge fund in this, <laughs> excuse me, was a true hedge fund in the sense, but I, I throw the word technology in there because we had a really unique platform. And what we did was that we had a, a technology platform where we, where we matched qualified persons. So we had over 26,000 QEPs, which according to the SEC is, you know, someone who was at least $3 million net worth, a million dollars in liquid investable assets. And they have the privilege of being able to invest in certain investment vehicles that the general public cannot invest in, namely hedge funds, uh, some CTAs, things like that. So we had a platform where they could see all of the hedge funds performance. And what we did is we hooked into the prime brokers, FCMs of these hedge funds and CTAs, and we made sure that they were trading according to their strategy. So this was really right after the, the Bernie Madoff era and transparency and the financial crisis is going on. Everyone's very, very um, anxious, nervous, of these types of vehicles and you know we provided that that extra layer of transparency so if you were global macro uh, statistical arbitrage relative value long short equity whatever you know your trading strategy was we went in we did our due diligence we we put together blue books on you know how how you traded and then we monitored your positions in real time the manager's positions in real time that is to make sure that they were trading according to their strategy 
of our investors who had invested through our platform. So I have literally sat in rooms with managers who manage billions of dollars. So uh, an awesome experience. Like I said, it was certainly more of an institutional play, but uh, it was it was a great, great uh, experience to be on that that side of, of our business. So super interesting. From there, I decided, you know, OK, if I didn't uh, throw my own hat in the ring, I'd always regret it. So went uh, to, to trade on the floor of the exchange. And uh, from there, you know, quickly met uh, Michael Patak, our, our CEO, and and came on board with Top Step Trader as as one of its first employees. And and ironically, you know, Top Step Trader's model is somewhat similar to what what I was doing at the uh, the hedge fund, which was, you know, evaluating strategies, making sure traders are trading according to their strategies, et cetera. But obviously, doing this on more of a retail or professional trader front. So. Uh, kind of a twisty, turny, winding route to, to where I am, but you know, been at Top Step now for five years, I think, five plus years. So uh, it's been a been a great ride. So hopefully, that gives you a little bit of background on me, and uh, and maybe you know a little more trust that uh, I know what I'm talking about when uh, when I get into later uh, about exactly what it is I see in uh, our most successful traders. So. What does Top Step Trader do? So we address one core main problem. And that problem is that you could have the best trading system, strategy, methodology, algorithm, I don't care, whatever you want to call it, in the world, literally. And it does not mean a thing if you don't have have capital to trade and scale it with, right? That old saying, uh, it takes money to make money, that probably isn't more true in any other business or industry than trading. I mean, let's be honest, right? You need money to make money. You need to open a brokerage account. And even if you do, you know, maybe it's only 10, 20, 50 grand, whatever the case is, still a lot of money to a lot of people, don't get me wrong. But and of course we have leverage in our business, but if you want to make, you know, some substantial capital and things like that, and you don't want to risk your own money if you don't have to, that is what we address. That is the value of Top Step Trader. And the way we do that is through a unique evaluation process. So what this is, is that instead of you going and opening a brokerage account for that said 10, 20, 50, 100 grand, whatever your number is, you come to us and you get evaluated your trading strategy system, methodology, algo, everything we, I just talked about. You have that evaluated on a real time simulated account. And if you can meet our objective, our objectives, you earn a funded account with our proprietary trading firm and we enter into a profit split. So not only do you have basically close to zero risk, but you have all of the upside of trading with a firm that uh, has not only have we traded, not only have we funded thousand plus traders, twelve hundred plus. I, I forget what the exact number is. Last year we did six hundred alone, but we have the capital to scale you properly to to really you know make you successful we have some some mentorship some risk management involved in that you know a lot of other value adds but ultimately the real takeaway is that you're not risking your own capital you're trading someone else's and you have the ability to to scale up and, and trade faster and better and you know you have a support system around that as well so that's really our main use case of, of why people come to Top Step Trader. Uh, there's certainly some others uh, in terms of traders that are new to the markets and don't want to throw 10, 20, 30 grand into a brokerage account because if you're new, we all know how that story ends, right? I think most people in there, I would imagine, are probably somewhat experienced and, and maybe I'm, I'm wrong, Dan, but uh, but. Uh, ultimately, you know, we know trading's trading's difficult, right? It's a hard business. So uh, we do have a lot of people that are very, very smart and prudent 
and decide, okay, I'm going to come to Top Step Trader and develop this way for, you know, much, much less expensive than <laughs> the, the learning curve or the learning cost of what it is to go right in and, and open a brokerage account. So uh, ultimately the way that we do this and the way that we do this unique evaluation process is, is two steps. First is the trading combine. Second is funded trader preparation. Now these are both real-time simulated accounts where your, your trading is being evaluated. They really just differ in terms of the, the criteria that we're looking at. So, so that's what I'm gonna get into right now is first the trading combine. What do we need to see in order for you to pass the trading combine and move on to the second step, which is funded trader preparation. And with this, I'm really going to, I'm going to pop out right to our website because this is exactly what you would see. And all of the information is, is right there. So the trading combine, as I said, it's a real time simulated account and we offer four different account sizes. 30,000, 50,000, 100, and 150,000. With each of these account sizes comes different account parameters, right? So for example, on the $50,000 trading combine, you have a max position size of five lots or five contracts. So what that means is that if you're long three contracts of crude and you're short two contracts of the S&Ps, you can't put on any more contracts. You're at your max position size, right? So pretty self-explanatory. I think everybody probably gets that. Um, it's across all products. And again, you know, you can't have more than five contracts on in an open position at any given time. Next is the daily loss limit. Now the daily loss limit is really, really interesting. So uh, the daily loss limit in this example is $1,000, right? Now that $1,000 is calculated according to your unrealized net P&L. So I'm gonna say that again. It's calculated in, and here's another important part, intraday, intraday, according to your net according to your unrealized net p l so what that means basically is that if you're in a trade at 10 a.m and in that trade you are long crude and crude is dropping like a brick and you're watching your p l and you're seeing minus 950 minus 980 minus 990 if it touches minus 1000 you're automatically liquidated from that position and locked out of the account for the day. Okay? So unrealized meaning it's including your open position and net P&L meaning that it's also including fees and commissions and intraday meaning at any point through the trading day, you could get clipped and be done for the day. So something to be to be very careful of and leery of uh, is that daily loss limit. Next is the max drawdown. So the max drawdown in our example is two thousand dollars. The max drawdown is you can think of it as an overall loss limit. So it's the most you can lose over the life of the account so to speak, but it's actually a trailing max drawdown. So it's calculated according to your high water mark. So I'm gonna get into uh, an example here. I'll probably have to erase my, uh, my ink there. All right, cool. So in the 50K example, your trailing max drawdown is $2,000, right? So right when you start day one, the lowest your account balance can possibly go is $48,000, right? Because that's 
difference. Now, say after your first day of trading, you kill it, you make $1,000. Awesome. You try to max drawdown, it's still $2,000. So now, since this is your new high water mark, the lowest your account balance can go is $49,000. Now, next day, again, do well, make 500 bucks. At this point, you try to max drawdown, still two grand. So the lowest your account balance can go is 49,500 because you have a new high water mark. Now, the next day, let's say you lose a grand, right? Choppy markets, your head wasn't in it, whatever the case is. Your account balance is now at $50,500. At that point, your trailing max drawdown becomes $1,000. Because the lowest your account balance can go is still 49500 because it's according to your high water mark, which was your previous days. Hi. Now, the next day, we just have a killer day, right? Boom, not going out of the park. You make 2500 bucks, 2700 bucks, whatever the case is. So we'll call this 53200 bucks. Now your trailing max drawdown is $3,200 and the lowest your account balance can go is what your initial balance up was, which was 50,000. And of course, this is your new high water mark. The next day you make another grand, you make another new high water mark. Next day you go down, next day you go back up. Anything that happens from here on out, the lowest your account balance can go will always be $50,000. So you're rewarded for making more than your max drawdown in profit. So our max drawdown on the 50K account is $2,000. You know, once you went up, you know, you went up 3,200 bucks, then your max drawdown is 3,200 bucks. You know, went up four grand, your max drawdown is four grand. Brought it back down a couple of grand, your max drawdown is two grand. Brought it back up to three grand, your max drawdown is three grand, and so forth and so on. So. Hopefully everyone can understand that. The way you think about it is that it trails your high water mark until you've made your initial max drawdown in profit. So in this example, it's going to trail your high water mark until you've made $2,000 or more in profit. And then it'll never exceed your initial balance in terms of uh, the, the low that you can go to. Okay. Next is the profit target, right? So we're uh, we're uh, we're traders, right? We're we're in trading to make money. We're capitalists. Uh, this isn't an altruistic endeavor. I I think that we have altruistic motives, possibly, and and that's what I've I've often thought with uh, a lot of traders that that I've dealt with over my career is. Uh, the money is a conduit to what you want to do and accomplish and give those you love. And, and that's awesome. That's great. But at the end of the day, you know, we're all in this to make money, right? So that's what we want to see. We want to see return uh, 6% across all of the account sizes. And then next is the cost per month. So it's going to vary according to the account size. Obviously, the more we're going to risk by funding you, the more we want to see you risk. Uh, this is this covers you know data feed, technology costs, staff to evaluate you, et cetera. You know the normal overhead of a business. But more importantly, is uh, when we first started, gosh, five, five six years ago, we were doing free evaluations, right? We were just, you know, hey, here's a demo account. Let's see what you can do. Here's a demo account. Let's see what you can do. And this was before CME got, you know, pretty strict about data and things like that. But what we realized is that nobody took it seriously. Everybody came in and they were just, you know, oh, boom, I blow up the account. I want to start over. I blow up the account. I want to start over. And we're like, what What are you doing? You know, this is, this, it's not what we wanted. So I think we realized we were incentivizing bad behavior, so to speak. So a lot of it is really just so you have some skin in the game and you, you treat it like it's a, a real live account because we're going to put money behind you on this. So, so uh, again, that's going to vary uh, according to 
the account size that you choose. So next is the trading combine rules, right? So these were our account parameters. Next is the rules. So first rule is trade a minimum of 10 trading days. So what does that mean? That means that you can trade as many days as you need to meet the objective. And the objective is to follow the rules and meet the profit target. So you could trade as many days as you need. We just need to see at least 10. That is our minimum data set. So if you trade 10 trading days and at the end of your 10th trading day, you've met the profit target, you're up 3,200 bucks and you followed all the rules, great, awesome. You're gonna advance the fund of trader preparation. If that doesn't happen until the 14th day, great, good job. You're gonna advance the fund of trader preparation. If that doesn't happen until the 173rd day, great. You're going to advance the funded trade preparation. We don't care how long it takes you. We just need to see at least 10 trading days. And people always ask, well, what if I meet the profit target in two trading days? Doesn't matter. Need to trade seven more trading days. We're trying to separate the gamblers from the traders and we, we want to make sure you didn't just get lucky. Next is only trade during permitted times. So this one's pretty easy. It's uh, 5 p.m. Central Time when the Globex opens until 3.10 p.m. Central Time the next day. So uh, that's that's basically what, what the times are. In terms of products we trade, we trade all CME Group products. And... You can take a look here. Uh, all futures, all CME Group products, really the most liquid ones. You can take a look through this full list. Crude oils are most popular. Two is the S&Ps. Three is a toss-up between gold and the euro, but uh, really all the most liquid CME products here. And then lastly, the two rules that we covered already, the two cardinal rules really, which are do not hit or exceed your daily loss limit, do not allow your account balance to hit or exceed the trailing max drawdown. If you can do those four things and meet the profit target, you will advance to funded trader preparation. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what happens if I break one of these rules? What happens if I, if I do hit my daily loss limit one day? We know, we get it, it happens. So we do have a, a functionality in place that, you know, if you were to, for example, hit your daily loss limit, you can reset your account at any time for a hundred bucks and it'll go back to your initial account parameters. And it's basically like starting over. So uh, again, we don't want to encourage that. We want it to hurt a little bit, right? If you're a kid and you, you touch a hot stove, you learn not to touch a hot stove again. Uh, we certainly want that to, to happen, but, um, but there is uh, kind of a, a get out of jail card, uh, if you will. And then you might be asking yourself, okay, well, what am I executing these trades on? What am I using? Am I using your software? Am I using somebody else's software? Am I using investing? Am I, you know, ultimately what we do is we provide you with the login credentials to the data feed and the data feed is where we see all of your open positions, we run proprietary trade reports at the end of the day, et cetera. But in terms of the front end that you're using, uh, we offer really some of the most popular ones out there, Ninja, Sierra, Multicharts, eSignal, you name it, CTST4, Trader Pro, OrderFlow. Uh, we offer others besides this. We do offer TradeStation. Um, and I know, I don't know what Dan, I know Dan, you know, their education and, and things like that, I think is pretty agnostic, but uh, certainly, um, you know, can, can go to them for recommendations too. But, uh, and if you don't see your preferred platform, if you use something that you don't see here, feel free to reach out to us and, and we'll let you know if our data feed can connect to it. But again, you know, keep in mind, you're executing all of your trades on a real time simulated account using the front end of your choice. Okay, cool. So moving on, we will say that we completed the $50,000 trading combine, right? We knocked it out of the park. We made $3,172.42. Uh, 
and we are now advancing to funded trader preparation. Awesome. Well, what's funded trader preparation? Again, this is a real time simulated account where your performance is evaluated. Uh, this one's totally free. You know, we talked about the, the cost here to be evaluated. Uh, once you've proven to us here that, that you can trade in the trading comp mine, you know, we're comfortable that, that you're a trader, not a gambler. And, um, and at this point, you know, we just want to really make sure that you're going to be a good <clears throat> steward of our capital and, and manage our capital well. So funded trader preparation is really more about risk management. It's more about uh, how you can manage our capital and, and certainly, you know, take care of it. So this is definitely more of a, uh, a money management risk management approach, whereas the trading combine was pretty straightforward, right? Here's your loss limit. Here's your drawdown. Stay within the lines and meet the profit target and you'll advance. So there's a couple additional rules for funded trader preparation, but um, a lot of them are the same. So for example, trade a minimum of 10 days. It's the exact same thing as uh, the trading combine, right? You did that in the trading combine. You can do that again here. Only trade during permitted times. Again, same products as before. Uh, 5 p.m. Central Time until 3.10 Central the next day. Next, do not hit or exceed your daily loss limit. Again, this is exactly the same as it was in the trading combine. You know, should have no problem. And now is uh, your weekly loss limit. So again, you know, I said uh, this is going to be a little bit more tighter risk management. So you now have a weekly loss limit. And this is calculated Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Time when the Globex opens until Friday at 3.10 Central Time uh, at the close. And, and don't worry too much about that because we have another mechanism in place that I'm going to touch on later that that will really help you uh, ensure that you don't uh, don't don't flirt with this line too much. And then next is do not allow the account balance to hit or exceed the trailing max drawdown. So again, trailing max drawdown, same as it was in the trading combine, should have no problem with that. And then a new rule, do not hold positions in the major economic releases. So, um, you know, here's a little chart that, that shows the products and the corresponding releases. These are really big market moving events. So, Certainly, you know, unemployment, FOMC numbers, announcements, um, definitely the, the if you're trading the energies, any type of inventories reports, you know, those are going to move the market. So we just require that you're a minute flat before and a minute flat after these announcements. And then lastly, uh, this is this is really the, the mechanism I talked about that's going to help you stay out of trouble with the weekly loss limit. And this is the scaling plan. So uh, really what brought this on is when we had traders in the past come on to our funded accounts and they you know had the ability to trade five contracts, 10 contracts, 15 contracts, everybody right away went like full-blown, boom, I'm going to throw on as many contracts and cars as I can and quickly, you know, would have a bad trade and, and ultimately lose the account pretty soon, which is unfortunate. So we put this in place and it has done wonders to really help the longevity of our traders and, uh, and make sure that they don't get into too much trouble early on with, with big swings in the account. So in the example of a 50 K you can trade two lots until you make 1500 bucks in profit. Then you could trade three lots. Uh, and once you make two grand in profit, you could trade five lots. So here we really just want to scale according to your equity balance. And this is going to help you stay in line with, uh, with, with some of the tighter limits that you have now. So uh, again, funded trader preparation, all about risk here. You know, we really, we don't, we don't care too much. Um, of course we want to see profit, but we really want to make sure that you're going to do it in a very methodical and, and consistent way. And again, you, you, if you can follow these rules, which many of them are the same, I think there's only two or three that are additional and meet the profit target, you earn a funded account.
So again, the trading combine, follow the rules, meet the profit target. You advance the funded trader preparation, funded trader preparation, follow the rules, meet the profit target. You have earned a funded account. Awesome. So the funded account, right? This is what everybody come, comes here for. This is what, this is the promised land. We did it. We made it. Awesome. So uh, what, what's some of the, the benefits of the funded account? How does it work, et cetera? So first we have uh, an industry bus profit split. So this is really cool is, is that I like to think of this as a little signing bonus. We actually give you your first five grand in profits. So if you come onto the funded account and your first month, you knock it out of the park, you make 10 grand and you decide, or, you know, either a, you want to go on vacation, you know, or whatever you want to take the, the spouse and kids on vacation, or maybe the, the, the hot water heater or the air conditioner breaks and you need to get it fixed, whatever the case is. And you, you call us, you say, Hey, I'm going to take five grand on the account. Say, so, okay, sure. No problem. We write you a check or wire transfer for five grand right away. 100% of that goes to you. Anything after that, it's an 80-20 split. 80 to you, 20 to the house. So not only a very, very attractive profit split, but you do get uh, sort of a, a signing bonus is what I like to call it. Uh, you get to keep your first five grand in profits, 100% of them. So that's something really, really cool. I, I don't know anyone else uh, in the industry, any prop firms that, that offer that. Next is trade additional products. So I realized that, you know, in our evaluation, we only support CME group products. So um, I, I understand that other traders, particular international traders might want to trade, you know, the DAX or the Boone or maybe the, the Russell, the TF. Uh, once you're funded, you know, we generally open the doors and, and as long as it's a good liquid product, we'll, we'll let you trade it. So there's, there's certainly some value there for certain traders. Next is uh, receive your profits. And I think this one goes underappreciated. And this is that you can withdraw at any time. So we don't have any rules or stipulations that, you know, First and the 15th, you've got to withdraw or once a month or once a quarter or whatever the case is. We don't do that. We look at this as a partnership. If you want the money and it's in your account, you earned it, let us know. We'll generally get, get it turned around within a couple business days. Um, and, and really cool for a lot of our international traders is we'll wire it as long as you're taking out 250 bucks or more, we'll wire it to you for free. And, uh, I say it's it's good for everyone, but uh, I say it's good for our international traders because uh, international wire fees can get uh, really expensive. So, and then lastly is industry low commission. So we uh, we've negotiated with our brokerage partners that you know the lower our transaction fees, the more profits you make. So um, you know that's that's certainly a benefit as well. And then something that's not here that I think is really important is that you also have the support of our trader support team, which, which includes veteran traders that really act as your risk managers. They're there for you. If you want to pass trade ideas through them, if you just want to talk to them, you can use them as much or as little as you'd like, um, but, but really a, a good opportunity. They're going to watch you. They're going to make sure that you're, you're trading well. Um, and according to, you know, your plan that, that you've set forth and, um, and they're really there to look out for your benefits. So I think that that's something that's really cool that, uh, a lot of traders have, have in the past said that they really enjoyed. Um, so definitely want to, want to be sure to give a shout out to those guys. Cause, um, they do a lot of, a lot of good work. So awesome. So that is the evaluation process. Step one, the trading combine. Step two, funded trader preparation. So write the trading combine, you know, show us you can profit, stay within the lines. Step two, funded trader preparation, show us you can manage risk. 
And step three, which really isn't even a step, this is the 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 final the the final um, I, I don't know what you would call it, but um, the goal, right? And that's uh, the funded account. And the funded account is really where we want you to put everything that you've done and everything that you've shown us into practice with with real capital. So, super super exciting, awesome opportunity. You know, like I said, you don't have to risk any of your own money. Um, really all you're risking is, is, you know, this small monthly fee, which, you know, pals in comparison to, <laughs> to, uh, a brokerage account, uh, and, and show us what you can do. And, and we want, uh, we want to fund, you know, as many traders as possible. Like I said, last year we did, I think over 600 and, uh, I think we're on track for, for far more than that. So we're super excited and, and want you to be a part of that. But, uh, as I promised, you know, I definitely want to, share with you my knowledge as to, you know, what are the keys to success? So this is definitely relevant to our evaluation. However, this is something that I've seen transcend uh, throughout my career in terms of where I've seen traders, whether it's professional traders, it's traders from the floor, uh, it's you know, institutional fund managers, uh, it's, it's really good retail traders. These are the things that you need. And um, they're, they're certainly relevant and, and very relevant to, to our specific evaluation. But uh, again, like I said, uh, if, if you never get evaluated by us, never, you know, choose to, to, to go after our funding opportunity, these will work wonders for you in, in your personal account. First is discipline. So here I like to tie it to our uh, our stop loss. I'm pulling the curtains back, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, telling you exactly what you need to look out for in the trading combine. The daily loss limit is our most broken rule. I'll say that again. The daily loss limit is the most broken rule. If you're going to fail, you're likely going to fail because you hit your daily loss limit. And this is, um, it's frustrating to me because it's one of the easiest ones. It should, maybe I shouldn't say easiest. It's one of the simplest ones to avoid. If you're flirting with your limit, close the trade. <laughs> place a stop, place a stop, place a stop. And uh, I think a lot of it is that traders just fall in love with their trades and it's working against them and, and they just don't want to let it go. They can't cut the losers. And you've got to know where you're at. You've got to be aware of, of where you are uh, in your in your account and where your, your net P&L is and place a trade there. And don't place a trade if your loss limit, if your daily loss limit is $1,000, please, please don't place a trade at, you know, minus 980 or minus 990 slippage happens things happen markets dry up it could easily blow through your stop give yourself some breathing room give yourself some tick breathing room and learn to learn to give learn to cut your losses and and walk away that's one of the biggest things we've got it written on our wall in the office is uh always trade for tomorrow right if I hit my loss limit today, I can't trade tomorrow. Uh, I'm not trading for tomorrow, right? So uh, I think this is huge. This is huge uh, in your own personal trading. You should always have limits. You should always place a stop loss. Um, you should have pre predetermined, predefined limits as to you know how much you can afford to lose in a day, whether that's 2% or 4% or whatever your number is. And it's one thing to have it and have it written down. It's another thing to actually abide by it and you need to need to abide by it, follow it. So um, again, that's a, it's a big one. And particularly if you're, you're going to move forward with the, the trading combine, which um, you know, I, I know um, Dan's got a great, um, great, uh, great uh, opportunity and, and promotion for um, at the end of this. Keep that in mind. That should be your big takeaway is the daily loss limit. Next is location, 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 right? <laughs> the old real estate adage. It's the exact same for trading. 
trade location is everything. So um, most of our traders, you know, successful traders, we see them trade one to four, one to five times a day. Um, that doesn't mean we don't have traders that trade 10 times a day. It doesn't mean we don't have successful traders that scale up and trade 50 times a day. We do. I'm just saying that trade location is everything. And the way you go about that is that if you have 10 trading opportunities and, and journaling is huge for this. So if you don't journal, you should start. And uh, that's going to allow you to look back and reflect on different trading opportunities and see patterns and, and start to realize, okay, which ones are, you know, your high probability trades. So what we talk about all the time, high probability trades. And the way you do that is you look at your trading style system strategy and, and if you have 10 setups, 10 trade setups, you know, on average throughout a trading day, isn't it likely that three of those, four of those, two of those are, are much more likely to be profitable than seven, six, eight of them, right? Isn't there probably a 75% likelihood of some of them versus others? And trim the fat, get rid of the others, only focus on the high probability trades and your trading will drastically improve. I can promise you. And uh, the next thing we see a lot of is, is over trading. And, and I've always seen that. So I think two to three hours is, is good. Um, we see mostly morning session, but uh, of course there's afternoon session. So I don't want everyone to think that these are hard and fast rules. They're not, but um, two to three hours generally. And uh, you'll know if it's going to be a good day or a bad day. And, uh, and if it's been a bad day, shut it off and walk away. So um, we don't want to get into instances of over trading, revenge trading, things like that, right? Um, I, I hate to use this analogy, but because uh, I hate when people call it gambling, but um, it does make sense, right? I mean, if you stay at the blackjack table long enough, you're eventually going to lose. Um, the market is similar to that. The market will eat you up. Um, so you've got to be methodical when, when you put risk on and, uh, and know where you're going to do it and, uh, and take those high probability trades, take your money and run again, always trade for tomorrow. Next is position size matters. So over leverage is one of the big things. Always see traders over leverage themselves and, I get it. I know you all want to make a million dollars yesterday. <laughs> I understand that. But uh, I can guarantee you that uh, if, you, if you start risking it and you trade with that mentality that, you know, hey, I've got to make all this money or I want to do this and hit home runs, it's, it's not going to work out for you. So I like to equate this to like a mortgage, right? Just because you have it doesn't mean you should use it. If the bank or a lender, you know, tells me, okay, you can afford a $1.2 million house, Connor. Oh, great. That's awesome. Sure, it's a beautiful, you know, I can find a beautiful house for that. Do I want to have that mortgage? Do I want to, you know, be fully leveraged and, and you know, be worried that, okay, what if I have a down month or, you know, God forbid, emergency happens, a medical emergency or, you know, personal, professional, whatever the case is. I'm sure I can have a great house for 750, 800 grand and, and sleep really well at night, right? Knowing that I've got some cushions, some padding, I don't have the anxiety anymore. It's the same thing for trading. Just because you can trade 10 contracts, 15 contracts, doesn't mean you should. Because once things start to go bad for you, you're going to get really, really anxious and you're going to start making bad decisions. I, I can assure you. So really... Don't over leverage yourself. If you size properly, you're going to meet your target without testing your limits. And that leads me really right into uh, my last key to success or our last key to success here, which is patience. Patience is a virtue. There's a reason that's a saying. In our evaluation, you have as much time as you need. I know that we say 10 days and I almost don't even want to put 10 days on the website because then people feel like they have to do it in 10 days, even though we're saying 10 days is just the minimum we want to see. It's you have as much time as you need to meet the objective. 
So there's no need for you to be over leveraging yourself to be swinging for the fences. Um, you know, all of those things, trading every opportunity. And I like to, you know, do a little baseball reference here that a single and a home run are the same to your batting average. Base hits, base hits, base hits. Do that in trading and you're going to build your equity balance over time and you're going to reduce your risk while simultaneously increasing your profitability. If every trade you're taking is you're swinging for the fences and, you know, you want to make the profit target now or the money now and, and do that, you're probably going to get less uh, RBIs than, than if you were just hitting singles, you know, every at bat. So definitely keep that in mind. You know, those are the, the four things that, that are really, really crucial to success that I've seen throughout my career, but, but certainly at Top Step Trader. And um, if you can follow those, you're, you're in really, really good shape. And, and your likelihood of, of earning a funded account with us is drastically, drastically improved. Let, uh, lastly is kind of something that I've always had. Uh, if you like it, great. If not, um, no big deal. But uh, I've had this on my desk for a long time, and I don't even know. I, I'm not smart enough to think of it, but uh, I'm sure I heard it somewhere along the way. But uh, preservation of capital is paramount to profits. Preservation of capital is paramount to profits. Basically, this is just giving you a gut check whenever you're going to put risk on in the markets, right? It's a privilege to put risk on. The market will eat you up and spit you out in a second. So you better be pretty comfortable with the trade that you're going to put on with what you're going for. Um, and, and this helps me do that, right? I, I've had this on my desk for a long, long time. And, um, you know, just, just take a look at it before I, I enter and I think, okay, you know, I'm pretty comfortable with the, the return I'm going to get to put risk on at this point. I'm comfortable risking money at this point. But if I always approach the preservation of capital is more important than profits, um, it's really going to help me gut check that. So, And then, um, you know, really, I, uh, this is a few success stories that we've had. So I want to just quickly run through these. And, and I hope that someone on this webinar, multiple people on this webinar, um, using the things you've learned today and, and the things you'll learn or, or, or have learned at Winvesting and, and their incredible education um, will help you get there. But um, this is Melissa. She's uh, awesome. That is her with her newborn baby, which she was born in the fall. So she's probably a lot bigger than that now. Um, but she's taken multiple thousand dollar checks uh, and she's used it to take care of her, her child, right? And for those of us uh, that are parents in here, you uh, certainly know how expensive it is to take care of uh, of children and uh, enable to treat herself in the process. So many patties, you know, gadgets for herself. Uh, that's awesome because uh, we all know the, the moms in our lives uh, deserve it. This is really cool and really speaks to our mission, which uh, is anyone, anywhere, which is a, a part of our, our mission statement. But uh, what it is, is this is Jacob, who is a Ugandan construction worker, and this is him on a construction site in Uganda, and he's earned more in one trade than his entire monthly income. So, I mean, that's that's not life-changing. That's actually a Top Step Trader shirt he's got on. Uh, the front of it says Top Step Trader, back says I'm, I'm back. It's kind of a little play on words there, but um, but yeah, this is awesome. You know, anywhere with an internet connection today is... Um, it, it, the barrier to entry is, is just uncanny and this helps speak to it. And we're just trying to lower that further. <clears throat> uh, and last here is Mark, uh, Texas limo driver, great guy. And uh, he took a big check and, and used it to go on an, an awesome uh, vacation and create some, some memories with his, his family, which uh, is super, super cool. So those are just a few of our success stories. Uh, I, I can envision anyone on here. Uh, being being a part of it and and being one of these hopefully one day and uh again we know the way to do that is the trading combine funded trader preparation and then you're on that funded account and and earning money so with that i i see how we're doing on time yeah i think we'll definitely open it up to uh questions at this point
Let me scroll down for everybody. Let's see, we started about 8.15. <laughs> Dan said, go Cubs. I'm a Southsider, so uh, I'm a Sox fan, but uh, we'll see. The city's uh, obviously a light for uh, for the Cubbies. Okay. Looks like Dan was answering some of these, which is great. Um, all right. Bob says, even though the max contract is five in the 50K, you can only start with two, two contracts and scale up as the account grows specific level is that right uh good question bob so in the trading combine you can trade the full five contracts when you get into funded trader preparation uh and and you have more of that risk focus then at that point you would start with the two contracts and scale up you know as the account balance grows so it's different uh in the trading combine uh and funded trader preparation scott if you hit that limit and get liquidated, it's important to mention that your combine is over unless you reset. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, great point. So, you know, if you do break a rule in the trading combine, you're no longer eligible for review. So at that point, it basically becomes a practice account for you. So um, certainly, you know, that's uh, also one of the values of, of resetting your account is that you're then going to be uh, eligible for review again. So um, you know, again, we take our rules very seriously and, uh, we want to encourage everyone not to break them because, uh, those are rules that we have very clearly defined. And those are the, the risk parameters that we're willing to take when we back traders. So, um, great point, Scott. Thank you for pointing that out. Tim, uh, trailing max drawdown is calculated constantly intraday or is it calculated at the end of each day? Great question, Tim. So the daily loss limit is intraday. The max drawdown is end of day. So you can trade out of the, the max drawdown, so to speak. So if you do fall below it, you can, you know, trade, um, trade again, um, out of it, like, like back above it by the end of the trading day. So it doesn't, doesn't count against you. Mike, no Forex. Not at this point, Mark, Mike, excuse me, but um, we're hoping, hoping sometime this year. PFA, when the account is reset, does 30 day period start over? Not sure what you mean by that, P. Um, in terms of the, the 30 day billing cycle, that remains the same if that's what you're referring to. But um, when you reset the account, uh, the days that you trade, everything just goes back to zero to as if you were starting completely over in an evaluation. Yeah, Mike, no MetaTrader right now and, and no Forex. James would like to know what happens in the funded account if you're to hit a limit. Uh, yeah, James, at that point, you know, we do reserve the right to... Um, to ask you to go back to the trading combine um, and basically, you know, you would lose the account. So something that we, we don't like to ever see happen, but um, again, you know, that that's a lot of the reason why that scaling plan is in place. And, and we want to see you, you know, build your equity balance base hits and, um, and build that quickly without getting into trouble. If you will. John, do you have to trade every day? In other words, are you required to trade a certain amount of time every week? No, not at all, John. So like I said, um, you know, that 10 day minimum is in place, but that's not 10 consecutive days. That could be any 10 days. It could be one day a week, five days a week, two days a week, whatever. Um, no big deal. Chris, what's the profit sharing percentage? Uh, it's 80-20. You keep your first 5,000 in profits, you get 100% of those, and then it's 80-20 thereafter. Uh, 
hands. If a funded, if a funded in a funded account, if a trader was to make six thousand dollars, and then break one of the rules, what happens to the six thousand? Is it paid out, or does the trader lose the money? So, good question, Hans. Uh, at that point, if you're up six thousand dollars, you that's all your money. You can keep all of that money. So once you've made your max drawdown and profit, so that, I mean, $6,000 will be higher than our highest accounts max drawdown. At that point, you no longer have a daily loss limit or a max drawdown. So uh, all that money is yours. So you could effectively draw that down to six grand. Um, or, you know, if you decided, hey, I lost two grand and my balance is now four grand, I just want to take the four grand and and, and run, you're welcome to do that too. So um, once you've made, that's an important part. And the funded account, once you've made your max drawdown and profit, you no longer have any other limits. So that money is yours to keep, withdraw, or if you lose it, you know, lose. But um, But yeah. Chris, if after two or three months, if we hit the max drawdown, what happens? Do we lose our funding? Chris, uh, at that point, yeah, so you would. So, um, but again, you know, if after two or three months you're up ten thousand dollars, your max drawdown is effectively ten thousand dollars. So you would have to lose that full ten in order to lose the account. Pradesh, is it possible to trade palladium and platinum, heating oil, and RB after getting funded? It's a great question, Pradesh. Uh, it would be that would be something determined by our, our trader support team and our, our risk managers. I'm not totally familiar with all those products in terms of the volume, um, so it would be a determination by them. But I think a couple of them you should be okay. Um, go ahead and, and shoot an email to our support team, and we can find that out for you, and they can take a look and let you know if those are products that. Uh, we would allow in the future and I just sent our um, support link support email address and phone number rather if you pass the combine but not fund to trade preparation do you have to go back to the start to try again or just redo fund to trade preparation <clears throat> good question Brad you would have to go back to the start <laughs> Bob C says what is the bottom line <laughs> uh, not sure what you mean by that. Do I still have to pay the monthly combine fee after my account has been funded? No. So you do not have to pay any fees at the funded trader preparation level or at uh, the funded account level to Top Step Trader. That said, at the funded account, you are liable for CME data fees and that's a CME cost they they uh, charge it because you are considered a professional trader at that point since you're trading someone else's money and that is $85 per month per exchange and that goes directly to CME uh, something they instituted a couple years ago a few years ago now and uh, trust me we don't like it just as much as you you do I understand a person could try the combine free for 14 days. How many times is that available? Um, Hans, that's that's not true. Um, we do offer a free 14-day trial, but it is not evaluated. So, you know, you're welcome to get on there, get set up, connected with your platform, execute some trades, see our trade reports, et cetera. But uh, that is not an evaluate an evaluation. <laughs> Brian, how soon will Forex be available? Uh, hoping by the end of the year. Tim, in a funded account, is the contract limit fixed or can it be increased down the road? Uh, no, Tim, it can certainly be increased. So, you know, we're, we're up for negotiation. And like I said, once you've made your max drawdown and profit, you know, we can certainly negotiate. Brian, I use Motive Wave. Yes, uh, you can use Motive Wave in the trading combine. Please shoot an email to our support team. 
and they'll be happy to help you get set up with that. Junior, I don't have a system for trading. Do you help with this? Um, Junior, great question. We do offer some education in the form of uh, a daily uh, market broadcast and uh, live trader interviews and chat rooms and things like that. And um, we do some cool stuff with our, our Facebook page and things like that. Um, but ultimately, really what uh, what you might want to do is check out when investing or you know some of maybe the other presenters today I'm, I'm not sure and um, they may have some more structured education but um, we generally provide more of the arena and and don't teach a specific you know strategy or, or system to traders one thing worth mentioning along that point though is that uh, with a trading combine you do receive uh, a perf what we call a performance coaching call once a month so that is a call with uh, one of our performance coaches where they're going to go through your trade reports, the good, the bad, um, and really talk about, you know, areas for improvement, where you're doing really well, things like that. So um, that is included in the trading combine, which is a, a great value add um, that, that I did not mention. So there's that. But um, if you're looking for a specific, you know, learning a specific set system or strategy, you know, I'd certainly go um, check out Winvesting or, or um, some of the other educators. Tim, uh, by trading with Top Step, do traders become registered with CME as professional traders? If so, does that remain if a trader goes independent? So again, you would be considered a professional trader by the eyes of the exchange. So you know your market data and title fees, would, entitlement fees would be you know that way. Uh, however, once you go independent, you know you can certainly then be retail. It doesn't follow you if you're no longer on our account. Um, if you're successful with a small account, can you then go to a larger account? Can you have multiple accounts? Tim, yes, you can have multiple accounts. Um, if you're successful with a small account and you become funded, we prefer that um, you focus on that funded account and scaling it up, um, scaling your equity balance, and then we can discuss you know, larger contract sizes, limits, things like that. Um, but you could do multiple accounts and, uh, and, and earn a funded account that way too. Mark says go Hawks. Absolutely. <laughs> he says, so you're the Sox fan. Uh, I'm sure that's a jab at, uh, our attendance rates. No licensing required. Nope. You're, uh, you're not handling any customer capital. It's all firm capital. CK, can you tell me the longest time spent in FTP? The longer time. Honestly, I, I have no idea off the top of my head, CK, but um, one of the things that I always like to caution is we get these questions a lot that are, you know, hey, you know, what's the average a trader makes or what's the, you know, average time to a funded account and all of these things. And, um, that's the herd mentality and none of it is relevant, right? Because trading is an individualized sport. Everybody's experience levels are different. Everybody's strategy is different. Um, their performance is different. Market state is different. There's just so many variables that if a hundred traders, you know, earn a funded account in 20 days, it doesn't mean you will. If a hundred traders earn a funded account and it takes them two years, it doesn't mean you will, <laughs> right? Because uh, trading's so individualized. So um, yeah, so I, those those types of questions I think uh, are, are remiss um, and and something that um, that a I don't know the answer, but um, off the top of my head, but uh, b I, I just don't think it's really relevant. Ron, is this for those new to futures trading? 
Uh, it could be, Ron. You know, we certainly have uh, traders that do that, and uh, it's a great alternative to going and opening a brokerage account. You know, I understand that, um, you know, brokerage accounts are pretty expensive, A, and, and B, you're risking a lot. So um, we're certainly a very, very cost-effective alternative to learning how to trade in an environment that, you know, is very, very real with an opportunity still tied to it. While, you know, you have the ability to develop, use our trade reports to to get insight into your performance, our performance coaches, things like that. Henry, do you have to purchase a Ninja Trader license to use the combine? No, not at all. So, um, Ninja Trader is is one of the platforms we we use. You know, it's um, in a lot of ways our recommended platform. But uh, ultimately, we have a, an agreement with them where you are you get a free license key for uh, with Ninja Trader, so you can use our license key to be evaluated. So you do not need to purchase or lease a license. Kim D, price per month is what we pay monthly to trade. Correct. John, no stocks, options, only futures, right? Correct, John. <clears throat> of course, the equity indices, though. The NASDAQ, S&P, Nikkei, Dow. P, when the account is reset, does 30-day period start over? Do you have another 30 days before billing starts again? Um, if you read right here, the monthly cost of the trading combine is set to recur every 30 days from the sign up date until the objective is met or the account is canceled. So your 30 day billing period does not change if you reset the account. Tim, are traders responsible for their front end costs directly to the software providers? Tim, uh, some of our platforms are free. You know, we just mentioned Ninja Trader. Some of them do require that you pay for them. It really depends. Uh, however, we do have a Help Center article that is a really great platform comparison tool, which I should be able to pull up. Yeah, so if you take a look at this um, and go through this, and I just sent it out to everybody, that'll tell you the different pros, cons, um, features, et cetera, of the various platforms we support. Mick, please elaborate on your tip to not to over leverage. Do you mean if you can trade five lots, only trade two or three? Yeah, that's correct, Mick. So... Um, just because you can trade five lots doesn't mean you you should. So certainly, you know, trade two lots, trade three lots, um, and and definitely get a hold of your strategy. And you know, if you want to put more lots on on more high probability trades or trades that you're more confident in, you can do so. But um, trading five lots, uh, you know, if you have five lots on and you're in crude oil, which moves pretty quickly. That's fifty <laughs> excuse me, that's fifty dollars a tick. So, you know, you can real quickly uh, you know, hit a limit. Tim, once I get funded, do I need to make a minimum to keep my account open every month? Uh no, Tim, not at all. There's no profit minimum, anything like that. Scott, even though you pay for a certain combine amount, don't we all get the same starting capital? Uh, no, Scott, that's not true. So obviously a lot of this you, you should think of in terms of the size you can trade and the risk as well. So, you know, the 3,000, 4,500 versus, you know, 500 bucks, 1,500. Um, and then of course the, the, the contract sizes you can trade and the, um, faster you can scale up on the larger account sizes versus the smaller ones. How are we taxed? Uh, good question, Chris. Uh, you 1099 independent contractor. David, do I need to have a futures live account or could I use your license to get the data at my futures instruments? Um, David, no, you don't need to have a live account and we provide you with the data feed credentials. So 
once you sign up, we email you the login credentials for the data feed that you then plug into your platform. Mike, can we trade spreads? Uh, yes, you can do spreads. Carlos, will I be using your virtual account or may I use mine? You will be using ours. Again, we give you the data feed credentials. Zvab, uh, how much does one pay every month for data? When you're being evaluated in the trading combine, you know that's built into your, your costs for your price per month. But um, when you're on the funded account, you're a professional trader in the eyes of the exchange. So it is $85 per month per exchange. If you are a foreigner, do you withhold taxes? Uh, we give you a, we have a W-8 Ben it's called, which is a um, you know non-US resident or citizen, um, independent contractor, and then taxes are done in the, 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 the country you reside in. Uh, I always recommend consult a tax professional though. Jermaine, can I use my debit card when I'm ready to make a deposit? Um, yeah, absolutely, Jermaine. You know, any major debit, credit card, PayPal, we accept. Robin says, I'm enrolled with TST and the support team, the process, the company is of the of the highest quality I have seen. You are not trading alone. You have an excellent support team. Thank you so much, Robin. I really appreciate that. And I will certainly pass that feedback along to our support team. Are we gonna be teaching your firm my methodologies or strategies or for how long may we work for your firm? Um, so you don't need to disclose your, you know, methodology, anything like that. We understand if you want to keep it proprietary and, uh, you know, we want you to trade for our firm as long as you possibly can or will. Uh, no, no options on futures. On the funded account, does the don't trade into major economic releases rule still apply? Uh, yes, it does. If so, what happens to funds in the account if the rule is broken? Um, Hans, with that rule, you know, we, we let everybody know, our team lets everybody know right before a big release that they need to be flat, um, and we will flatten you uh, if we see that you put a position on. So it's really not a rule that we, we allow um, you to break in the funded account. Um. Got a ton of more questions left, Dan. I know that it's um, 9.30 my time, 10.30 your time, and I know you said you wanted to take a 15-minute break before the next presenter. Um, I think at this point, if if everybody, you know, any other questions, I'm going to throw in to our, to the chat, our support team, which Robin so kindly complimented a couple minutes ago. Please feel free to reach out there, and then... Um, Dan, we also have a, a special offer, correct, for everyone? Yeah, actually, uh, I want to make sure that you gave your contact information and we can put that out for people who have any more questions. And Yeah, absolutely. I, I shot it to everybody in the, the chat, so everybody should have gotten it, I assume, um, for our support team. And also, uh, I want to let everyone know we've been working with uh, TOTSEP for – a while now and between our instructors and our students we've received over four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in funding and i'm sure it's much higher than that since the last time i checked but uh that is the uh the verified amount that i'm aware of and um we highly recommend them i mean the as uh one of the um uh students pointed out earlier robin um they've just got great support great service or great uh, company to deal with. Uh, you're not going to get a better split than 80-20. Uh, um, and they take all the risk. So for the amount that you're paying for your monthly uh, fee for your combine while you're testing, whether that's 150 a month up to I think 375 is the high end, um, a lot of people pay more than that in uh, brokerage commissions alone. 
um, you can also lose that in a single trade. And so to uh, basically eliminate all your risk and have that kind of upside where uh, you're going to make 80% of the profits is fantastic. And we recommend all of our students go through this process uh, so that you are making profits on other people's money before you start risking a dime of your own account. So um, we have uh, been working with Top Step for a while. As Connor, as, as Connor said, we have a special offer uh, for people today uh, working with them. They've been kind enough to uh, offer a discount for our students. Uh, if you go to www.winvesting.com slash TST, stands for Top Step Trader. I just put that in the chat box for everybody. Uh, you'll get 40% uh, off your combine fees. I don't know if, uh, Connor, you can throw that up on a um, one of your tabs or add a new tab and just yep. type in winvesting.com slash TST. Oops, yeah, you know, you know, winvesting. Yeah, you'll come to this page and then uh, just enter that code winvesting40 and you'll get a 40% discount on whichever um, combine level you choose. So uh, that's very generous of uh, Top Step. Um, we appreciate that and uh, we're glad to be able to pass on that savings to our students and our attendees for uh, Market Fest. So um, how long is the offer open? Uh, that kind of depends on Top Step. I mean, I, obviously that can change at any time. Uh, I think they'll be more than happy to uh, guarantee that at least for the next week or so. But, um, you know, I, I can't guarantee this will be there next month or the month after the month after that. So, um, you know, check it out as soon as you can. So with that, uh, Connor, let me hand it back to you. Uh, I, I want to make sure they have your contact info or your support, con support team's contact info. Do you want to uh, give that out? I can type that in the chat box as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I typed it a few times, but please uh, do it again. It's uh, support at topsteptrader.com. And, uh, and I think we probably got it on our website somewhere. Uh, and uh, the phone number, too. We have uh, phone support available uh, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. Central to 6 p.m. Central. And then on Sundays as well from 11 a.m. Central to 7 p.m. Central, and that phone number is 888-407-1611. I've got it highlighted on my screen here. Um, it might be easier to read, Connor, if you go to your contact page from the um, yeah your top great. navigation. Great point. There we go. And the hours are there. Thanks, Dan. You know it better than I do. <laughs> and then uh, our email, again, as we mentioned, top support at topsteptrader.com. Like I said, um, you know, as Robin mentioned and, and Dan, we've got a top-notch support team that um, we'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible. And, um, and again, you know, if you're more comfortable talking on the phone and speaking with someone directly and, and going over some of the, the details that maybe you missed, um, please, please feel free to do that. Uh, and of course, you know, as, as Dan mentioned, uh, a recording will be sent out too. So feel free to review the recording too. But uh, I hope to see all of you uh, on a slide one day in the future as, as our next success story. So I really appreciate the time. Uh, like I like I said in the beginning, I know you guys um, and, and and ladies could be doing uh, anything in the world right now, and and you're you're here with us, so uh, much appreciated, and uh, hope to see everybody getting evaluated and uh, funded soon. Connor, one last thing: a couple of questions came in regarding the discount code. I just wanted sure. to to verify um, if you've already gone through a combine previously. I don't believe the discount code is valid. I think it's only available for the first time. Uh, you. Uh, first time uh, traders. Is that true, Connor? Correct. Yep. Okay. Yeah. First time, uh, first time traders uh, that, that, you know, haven't been evaluated by us in the past. 
um, you know, this is really meant to, to get you on board and, and, um, get us, uh, funding more and more new traders. And as far as the, the discount for multiple months, it's the discount is only available for your first month. So, Correct. um, it's very possible to pass the test within a month. As, as Connor said, don't put that type of pressure on yourself. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to pass the test, but if it goes, uh, more than one month, it's still an incredible deal to, you know, pay, let's say on the $30,000 combine, only $150 a month versus um, you can lose that much in a single trade uh, if you're trading your own account. So uh, even at full price, it's a bargain. Um, but we've got that special discount just for uh, students and attendees today. And again, that's winvesting.com slash TST for Top Step Trader. And uh, you'll see that discount code, winvesting40. Just enter that when you uh, sign up for your combine and you'll get a discount. So that's it, Connor. I'll uh, leave it uh, back to you to close up. Awesome. Thank you uh, so much, Dan. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, as Dan mentioned, really, really great opportunity. The value that you have uh, is a second to none. You know, Dan mentioned you can pay this in commissions and fees with your broker. You could pay this uh, certainly in, in, a, a loss of, of a single trade, you know, very, very easily at times. So, you know, hopefully uh cost isn't a, a huge, huge hurdle for anyone. And, and definitely we want to help out with that, with this Winvesting 40. So uh, check out this, this site, you know, winvesting.com forward slash TST. You can actually um, purchase right from this page. You know, if you decide you want to do a 50 K and this will bring you right to um, our, our whole sign up. So, Please, um, you know, take a look and and we want to see you as our, our next uh, funded trader. And we want to hear your success stories. As Dan mentioned, you know, the uh, the Winvesting team and, and their students have have already done incredible things for us uh, on the funded accounts and and earning those. So, you know, his stuff is, is second to none. And um, and we want to see more and more people from from the Winvesting community. Uh, and others, you know, come on and, and earn funded accounts with us. And, and we want to help you um, make some money, take some risk off the table and and uh, accomplish what you want to accomplish in your life. So we're, we're honored to be the conduit to that. Uh, I was honored to present here today for, for all of you. And again, if you have any other questions, please reach out to our support team, support at topsteptrader.com or 888-407-1611. And uh, I appreciate everyone's time today and, and everyone trade well and enjoy the rest of uh, the market fest. And, and Dan, thank you so much and uh, the Winvesting community.